Welcome to UTech Spiration Channel. This time we explore the journey through the groundbreaking Lunar Mobile Network Project. This innovative endeavor will transform how we explore and communicate on the moon. Let's dive in and discover the details. Nokia and NASA announced a partnership to create the first mobile network on the moon. Essential components for its operation include UN and F0 spectrum variations, with a focus on signal-to-noise ratios and data rates. Antenna setups and diversity techniques were assessed under different conditions, and traffic modeling for the moon was explored. Future research directions are aimed at upcoming lunar missions, incorporating terrestrial relays and space-borne payloads. This lunar network will enhance exploration and human colonization, while influencing communications on and near the moon. The architecture involves lunar base stations and orbital satellites serving as relay stations. Additionally, geological odometers have been placed on the moon to validate the network's establishment. Advanced rovers and manned missions are planned for experimentation and potential commercial activities on the lunar surface, Ref Seria et al., 2023. Since the beginning of space exploration, communication technology has been essential for all missions. Initially, space communication relied on large ground stations for tracking and telemetry. Over time, compact devices were developed for use aboard spacecraft, enabling revolutionary missions like the Apollo program. The lunar missions, specifically Apollo 11 to 17, used portable communication systems that mimicked ground station equipment, yet no infrastructure remained after missions. Lunar communication was restricted to direct-to-Earth links, limited by the spacecraft elevation angle greater than 10 degrees, confining rover exploration to less than 0.5 Ga per lunar day. After early Russian missions a competitive race ensued between the US and USSR in the 1960s, marked by successes and failures with missions like Ranger and Luna. Interest in lunar exploration waned post-Apollo, but recent efforts have revived human exploration plans. Notably, the Moon Village Initiative aims to establish a community on the Moon and necessitates a reliable telecommunication system in low Earth orbit. NASA leads by inviting proposals for commercial lunar payload services, focusing on efficiency and reliability amidst challenges of energy restrictions and mission life while mitigating risks associated with complex antenna systems. Ref. Seria et al. 2023 and M. Morgenstern et al. 2018. Nokia, a leader in telecommunications, is set to establish a 4G-slash-LTE network on the moon, marking a significant milestone. The company has a notable history, including deploying the first virtualized core network and a LoRa El Pawan on the lunar surface. Collaborating with NASA, Nokia's industrial-grade LTE network is designed to endure the moon's harsh conditions. This compact, low-power LTE solution will enhance communication for lunar rovers, enabling faster and more reliable connections. This network will aid NASA's goal of returning humans to the moon by 2024. Throughout the space age, telecommunications have been vital for human and robotic exploration. The Apollo program pioneered voice and video transmissions from the moon, utilizing specialized radio components. Post-Apollo, the TDRS network provided continuous services for LEO satellites, while the DSN network supported deep space communications. NASA also developed infrastructures in orbit and cis-lunar space, establishing the foundation for the lunar network during Mars and outer planets' explorations. Seria et al., 2023. Nokia's significant role in establishing the first mobile network on the moon with NASA showcases their long history in mobile technology. Known for innovations like the first international mobile network and GSM call, Nokia has heavily invested in advancements such as 5G, vital for the NASA Artemis lunar mission. The network utilizes Nokia Bell Labs' lightweight, low-power, space-hardened base stations integrated into the lunar lander, paired with a combined LTE and MIMO antenna for sustainable 4G LTE slash 5G use. Drawing from their experience providing LTE coverage for major global events, the Lunar Network is designed to withstand extreme conditions, including cold, vacuum, radiation and weightlessness. Launching this mobile network in cislunar space opens new pathways for human exploration. Nokia's roadmap aims to standardize next-gen technology, showcasing lunar network components, relaying secure data, and enabling 4G LTE links and voice capabilities for mission payloads. Meeting performance indicators will be crucial for mission success. The Lunar Mobile Network will be the first cellular system on the Moon, 
enabling voice, video calls, and email through 4G LTE base stations. LunaNet will use reliable data links essential for lunar communications, with a backhaul connection for communication with the Lunar Gateway satellite. Limited software-defined networking on Earth and lower latency necessitate an expert partner, a role taken on by the American Space Agency. The network aims to cover the Moon, focusing antennas mostly on Earth. Circular polarization and tracking base stations will stabilize the link, though regolith can negatively affect network activity when antennas are obstructed, potentially disrupting data delivery. The Artemis Accords declare the Moon a collaborative area, leading a Finnish telecommunications provider to partner with NASA. Nokia was selected to support Earth communications for the Claris exploration missions. LunaNet marks a new era in lunar communication, maintaining a consistent link with the Moon. Historical communications occurred during missile pairs and Apollo 11. Ensuring constant connection is difficult. Communications are limited to the 14-day lunar day, while lunar night brings extreme temperature challenges averaging 130 degrees Celsius or negative 202 degrees Fahrenheit. Fine lunar regolith damages equipment over time, causing issues for mission planners. The Nokia-NASA collaboration maximizes knowledge of the Moon's characteristics, making it notable compared to other endeavors. The mobile network will be named LunaNet. In October 2024, Nokia and NASA announced plans to create a mobile network on the Moon as part of the Artemis program, which aims to enable sustainable human activities by the mid-decade. This public-private collaboration will establish the first commercial cellular network, facilitating high-definition streaming and low-latency communications. Nokia received $14.1 million to construct a resilient communication system for moon deployment by late 2022. NASA's corresponding budget for the lunar network access point is nearly double. Initially, the network will operate from a ground station on a lunar rover, supporting the expected increase of human and robotic activity on the moon, the long-term vision includes a comprehensive telecom infrastructure to ensure continuous connectivity for astronauts and vehicles, starting with a basic setup and progressing to a full LTE network. Nokia will conduct research on the equipment needed to withstand lunar conditions, ensuring it is durable yet lightweight, with low power consumption. This equipment will feature a space-hardened LTE base station, a compact antenna, and user devices capable of communication with an orbiting spacecraft, as well as Earth-based connections via satellite. The design will also address scientific measurements related to the lunar surface, supporting various communication modes. Redundancy is a priority with backups for critical components. Future advancements may explore 5G and quantum communications on the Moon, and this partnership positions Nokia to extend its offerings within NASA. The mobile network infrastructure for the Moon is specifically designed to meet unique challenges in lunar communication. Extreme temperatures, seismic vibrations, meteorite impacts, low gravity, and a new radiation environment complicate mobile services. Despite the limited coverage area, reliability is paramount. Unplanned maintenance and environmental incidents may disrupt the network, but these impacts must be minimized. A fault-tolerant and highly reliable network is essential, which involves incorporating high redundancy in all components. This redundancy ensures that while the network's mean lifetime isn't guaranteed, it will still meet service requirements over time. Coverage will be achieved through a network of stationary base stations or lunar cells, with plans to extend coverage to the dark side of the moon. Communication with Earth will utilize an optical link. Handover between lunar cells is facilitated by precise tracking of the lunar orbiting communication satellite through either direct line of sight or relay stations. All mobile and fixed station data transmissions will be encrypted with QKD-based techniques. The infrastructure will also support future crewed lunar missions, allowing ground crews to monitor health and safety via the mobile network infrastructure. From the Earth's perspective, the Moon appears fixed in geosynchronous orbit. A mobile network on the Moon could enable universal telecommunications coverage. The Moon's rotation matches its orbit, presenting one face to Earth, requiring a wireless network for consistent communication when devices are out of sight. NASA and Nokia launched the first mobile network on the Moon on October 18, 2024. Wireless systems face challenges from lunar dust which is abrasive and damaging due to sharp particles from meteorite impacts. This sub-micron dust is highly charged, leading to adhesion on surfaces and dust clouds that coat antennas. 
Tests indicated that GNSS signals often lose lock due to the variable reflection index of lunar regolith, while thermal vacuum tests emphasized the need for temperature control for GNSS receivers. The average grain sizes of lunar soil, 10 to 250 micrometers, scatter signals, complicating GNSS reflection. A rover utilized smaller magnetic loop antennas to tackle dust issues, but early iterations struggled with resonance and detachment. Various challenges presented themselves, including RF shadows from the rover obstructing signals and decreased downlink strength due to equipment limitations. Ideally, network components should have been launched to the moon or in orbit for proper distribution and pre-testing against environmental factors. The initial rover demonstration achieved modest success in developing a common architecture, but fiscal constraints and export regulations hindered progress. An iterative design approach was implemented, with a flexible engineering team addressing issues collaboratively with lunar geologists. Engineering tests assessed system readiness and informed improvements, while user tests evaluated configuration and handling, adjusting to balance feasibility with other objectives. As part of NASA's Artemis program, the pioneering mission to the moon establishes the first mobile network on the moon. This infrastructure will enable reliable high data rate communication for high definition video feeds. The link between the mobile network and lunar terrain vehicle must allow simultaneous uplink and downlink for civil and science payloads while supporting monitoring and visualization of communication parameters. Telecommunications involve a first-generation ultra-compact mobile base station, supporting LTE bands with a battery backup and integrated nanopatch antennas for uplink and downlink. The lunar landscape poses unique challenges, including temperature swings from minus 173 degrees Celsius at night to 127 degrees Celsius in sunlight, high vacuum conditions, and static electricity from radioactive elements in the regolith. The absence of atmosphere reduces ventilation effectiveness and creates issues with dust ingress and cooling, where standard seals fail due to outgassing. Lunar dust can infiltrate equipment, rendering it unusable, with static charging causing dust to stick rather than fall. Additionally, thick dust layers can degrade RF links, resulting in fluctuating signals and communication loss. The Earth-Moon link poses significant challenges for downlink ERP, especially in situations where the mobile is in challenging terrain. Addressing this requires a sophisticated RF strategy. A solid grounding in physical science will guide the planning and engineering of the mobile network on the Moon project, with the testing approach designed to inform system design, payload integration, communications engineering, and R&D. One small step for a man, Nokia aims to make a giant leap for space exploration by collaborating with NASA to establish the first mobile network on the Moon. This initiative reflects a growing trend among various corporations to pursue space-based projects. The Lunar Network is more than a marketing strategy. It is designed to enhance humanity's future in space exploration. According to Nokia's Chief Technology Officer Marcus Weldon, the current communication infrastructure is insufficient for sustainable human presence on the Moon. Unlike the robust terrestrial communications networks, the lack of comparable resources in space is notable. Communication is vital for modern society providing global mobility and instant information sharing, and is crucial in exploration to improve mission performance. Real-time connectivity is essential for astronaut safety, allowing health and telemetry data to reach Earth-based experts who can provide guidance. Additionally, effective communication networks are necessary for coordinating diverse exploration elements and maintaining contact with control centers on Earth. The mobile network will facilitate the transmission of high-definition video from the Moon to Earth increasing public interest in space science. It will also streamline the sharing of experiments and data between lunar bases and labs on Earth. By supporting lunar activities, commercial mining and debris removal companies could contribute to a diverse and sustainable communication network. This initiative is expected to spur further commercial opportunities on the Moon, driving demand for services like broadband and edge computing that could encourage supply growth. An enhanced lunar presence could lead to research outposts and pave the way for missions to Mars, potentially developing facilities like shipyards or hotels. More broadly, these lunar networks aim to lay the groundwork for interplanetary communication systems, facilitating the vision of a solar system society by the end of the century. However, building this network presents significant challenges, including extreme temperatures, intense radiation, dust contamination, vacuum transmission, and constant solar exposure. The lunar environment, with its varied terrain, complicates radio signal transmission even further. 
For astronauts on the moon, reliable communication with Earth is essential for mission success. It enables proper operation of rovers and equipment, and immediate contact is crucial during time-sensitive tasks like crewed EVAs. Advances in telecommunications over the past 50 years can enhance data transfer rates, supporting scientific experiments that current TDRS satellites cannot manage. NASA has established strong international and commercial partnerships to create a sustainable lunar exploration program, which may include access to telecommunications infrastructure for various missions. Reliable communication is critical for both crewed and uncrewed missions, reinforcing safety and operational efficiency. Moreover, it lays the groundwork for more autonomous lunar operations, a key goal of long-term lunar initiatives. The Lunar Mobile Network aims to establish the first mobile telecommunication system on a celestial body, led by a collaboration between Nokia and NASA. This network supports NASA's Artemis missions, featuring an LTE base station on the lunar surface and another mounted on a mobile platform, along with necessary antennas and software for management. The Lunar 4G network is a significant step towards enhancing infrastructure in CS lunar space, alongside initiatives like the more powerful Lunar Gateway satellite, focusing on the mobile network's implications for the IT sector. Lunar missions are currently rare, conducted by few countries but many more are expected soon. Nokia and NASA aim to support this growth through network expansion and integration with existing lunar communication systems, enabling any country to utilize advanced telecom infrastructure. Communication needs will evolve from brief lunar flybys to permanent operations over the next decade. NASA's Artemis program plans to return humans to the moon, establishing a permanent outpost. Future lunar bases will require a robust telecom infrastructure akin to Earth's, providing high-speed internet, VOIP, live HD video feeds and more. The Advanced Lunar Mobile Network AMN, will introduce these services in phases synchronized with NASA and commercial missions. The final stages of AMN will facilitate flexible communication links with extensive coverage, supporting live HD video transmission from a few kilometers within moon caves, crucial for broadcasting and crew safety. A comprehensive lunar telecom infrastructure will also lay the groundwork for the more complex Interplanetary Mobile Network ILMN, designed for Mars. This network aims to address risks and communication challenges during Martian missions with a multi-link multi-band system featuring adaptive technology. Development of the ILMN will proceed alongside the AMN, with initial elements set to launch on select lunar missions in the late 2020s and further phases anticipated for early Mars missions in the next decade. Telecommunications on the Moon will support astronauts, lunar landers, rovers and bases planned by international partners during Artemis missions. Since the Apollo era, there have been significant technological advancements applicable around the Moon. With limited bandwidth via NASA's TDRS, efforts are underway to enhance bandwidth to the Moon. Nokia is developing commercial lunar telecommunications for moon-based systems, poised to launch the first space mobile network services. Much of the telecommunications architecture was prepared prior to these services. After deploying the lunar mobile network, smaller RFPs for lunar communication services will encourage a variety of offerings in the marketplace with potential follow-up articles on selected services. Other specialized lunar telecommunication services may emerge from RFPs, enabling one-off services like relays or lunar network management. Key capabilities are expected to arise post-deployment, such as trials in lunar constellation networking or real-time teleoperation, once multiple telecom spacecraft are operational.